How do you replace Delta Dental with Google marketing to attract quality, consistent fee-for-service patients? Hi, I'm Kayvon Mott, co-founder of The Doc Sites. I'm really excited to talk about this exact topic. But before we dive into how you can do it, we just want to paint the picture a little bit of where the dental industry is right now. UCR fees are decreasing year after year. So what you got paid to do a crown or a filling is less and less and your costs are actually going up. That is why so many dental practices are moving to a fee-for-service model. Or if not, they're doing some kind of hybrid because they actually realize, hey, this is not working. The numbers don't make sense. It's not profitable for me or my practice and they're doing something different. So if that's you, stick around because I'm excited to share with you how you can attract more of those quality fee-for-service patients and replace Delta Dental. I share with you some of the stats, right? Of like, if it was, let's say $1,000 of work, you're only getting paid maybe 60% of that. What about the other 40%? Imagine if you actually use that 40% that you're not getting paid on to actually put it into your own marketing so you could attract more of those quality patients on Google. Realize this, things are now different. You no longer can just sit around and be on top of an insurance list where, where you get called and people wanna to come to you. The fee-for-service game is a little bit different because patients are now choosing you or another provider. So the overall picture and how you get from, let's say no fee-for-service patients to a lot of fee-for-service patients can be summed up to this. You wanna build trust and be seen. You've gotta build trust and do the things and show the things to help build trust. And then you have to be visible because if your practice is not visible online where everyone's going, you don't have a chance to get found and really book an appointment at all. So what are some of the elements that it takes? First and foremost is you have to have great customer service. I know you were expecting something about websites or SEO or Google, but really that's pivotal. Our company, The Doc Sites, we do websites and marketing, but you know what people really know us for is the customer service. If you actually look at our reviews, people are like, wow, they were great, they were responsive. That's what our customers value. So you wanna focus on what fee-for-service patients value. Yes, it's the clinical work, but more often than not, it's the communication, it's the service, it's the experience. So now is the time for you to take a step back and say, are we actually giving an amazing patient experience? Because you can't just like bring them into your doors and say, hey, that model of just, just bring them in and push them through is no longer going to work. So first and foremost, have a discussion with yourself. Ask other dentists, hey, how's your patient experience? Ask your team, how can we improve it? Leadership starts at the top and it's very important that you actually improve your patient experience because this leads to the second thing that's important which is asking for reviews. So one of the fastest ways you can actually increase your online visibility is to increase your reviews on Google. If you happen to be in an area where Yelp is popular, that's a great option too. But if I were to focus my efforts, I would focus it on Google. It's really important that if you already don't have one, you need to have one or ideally multiple Google review strategies. So for example, some people have a QR code in their office and their staff are trained to ask the happy patients at the right time for the reviews. That's a strategy. Other people use a software where it actually texts or emails the patient when they leave, hey, how's the experience? And it clicks and takes them to their Google's review page. That's a strategy. I've heard actually many practice owners will give a cash incentive to the team. They'll say, team, for every 10 five-star reviews we get, you're getting $100 each in cash. Got it? And the team's like, are you serious? Yeah, I will give you $100 cash. They go to work. The front desk picks up the phone. The back is a little quicker. Everyone's nice. Everyone's courteous. And they ask for the reviews. They self-manage because they want the cash. That's a strategy. All those three strategies work. Maybe you use multiple strategies. The point is, you want to increase your Google reviews, double them as fast as you can. And the best way to do that is to have a strategy in place and incentivize your team to increase them. Another important part of going fee for service is your website. Your website should not be an afterthought. 
your website should not be built by your IT you know, cousin or husband just because they know how to build a website. This is, if you think about it, your first impression online and you wanna give a great first impression. So some of the elements that I believe are personally important. One, have personalized photos and videos of your practice. People wanna get a sense of, hey, who am I coming to see? Who's the doctor? So make sure you nix the stock photos and have personal photos. Number two, have reviews showcased on the homepage and a reviews page. If you think about it nowadays, everyone's looking at reviews. I have six nephews at this time and every time I'm thinking about buying a gift, you know what I see? What's the review? Uh, that's not good, next. If I'm thinking of that about a toy, what do you think that patient who's considering you and other dentist is looking at? Reviews. So make sure on your website, you have video testimonials. At doc sites, we do things like we embed the reviews right there from Google. So it builds a lot more credibility and trust. If you do restorative cases, cosmetic cases, aesthetic cases, make sure you have a smile gallery because in my opinion, you need to show patients what you could do, not just tell them what they could do. So have a before and after gallery where they can see, wow, that's a very nice crown. Wow, like his veneers are amazing. Wow, her Invisalign case looks really good. Yes, I do wanna come there. And then another element that is very important on your website is you wanna make sure that each of your treatment pages have their own page and they're optimized for your city. Why is that? Well, think about it. Let's say I want to go get veneers. Right, I saw someone have veneers and I'm like, this is amazing, I want veneers. I'm probably not gonna go search for dentist. I'm gonna look for what? Veneers, if I'm savvy, I might even say porcelain veneers near me. If your website does not have a page on porcelain veneers and is not optimized for your city, you don't have a chance of showing up. So you wanna make sure that you're working with a dental marketing company who understands that. After you have the great service, your reviews are increasing, your website, now it's really time to focus on Google. Now, we do things on Facebook for our clients, we do things on Instagram, so the question is, why Google? Well, think about it. Where do most patients look for a dentist online? Go to Google. As a matter of fact, where does anyone look for anything online? It's Google. Now, it might change in the future when we get into the meta and TikTok and things like that, but not now. If you want new patient flow, Google is the gateway. When it comes to Google, you want to, again, work with a company who knows SEO and knows Google ads. By implementing an SEO campaign, you have a higher chance of showing up on Google. So if you're going to hire a company, here's a few things to ask them. One, do you do dental marketing? What percentage of your clients are dental? Two, what are the monthly deliverables? What am I actually paying for? What am I getting every month? Three, are you gonna stick me in a long-term contract? I've seen this time and time again where someone gets promised, you're gonna get 60 new patients or 30 new patients or on top of Google, and they sign up and as you guessed it, it's, it's not that at all. So work with a reputable company out there. Some of the important things that we've done for our clients when it comes to increasing their visibility on Google and attracting more fee-for-service patients are the following. One, optimizing your Google My Business profile and keeping it updated. Make sure the, the categories are correct, your treatments are on there, and that your marketing company is actually posting to it consistently. Many people don't know, but that Google My Business profile, just like Facebook or Instagram, can be updated with posts. So that is one thing we do that has been effective. Another thing that we do is we blog. We create a section on your website called the blog. So let's just say it's Happy Tooth Dental. It would be happytoothdental.com slash blog. And every single month, depending on which package you pick from the doc sites, we will actually write and post articles that answer questions patients want to know. Patients want to know things like, who's the best dentist near me? What are the costs of implants in Woodland Hills? That's what we write about because it helps them find your blog, which helps them find your website, see your reviews, and then they book an appointment. That is the only primary reason that companies blog is to help increase your online visibility. 
Now, SEO takes more of a long-term approach. It typically takes at least a year of consistent work and good reviews and a good website for you to say, hey, it's working, the patients are coming. If you wanna accelerate things and you have the money and budget to do it, I would consider doing Google ads or a combination of Google and Facebook. This is where you could focus a certain amount of budget every single month and think of it like postcards but they're digitally only being shown to someone searching for what you offer in your area. So with Google ads, you can say, hey, if anyone in a three mile radius around my office searches for dentists or dentists near me, show them my ad. It makes it a lot more relevant than let's say postcards. So this is a great option. And my personal experience has been hire, again, a company who knows what they're doing with these Google ads or Facebook ads. Some people try to do it themselves and save a few bucks and they're happy, but most people are not. And that makes sense. I wouldn't try to drill my own teeth. I would go to a doctor. In summary, it's not just one thing that will allow you to replace Delta Dental with Google marketing. It's really a combination of things like one, your mindset and you caring about the service. Two, training your team to actually ask for reviews and getting them. Three, building a trustworthy website. Four, making sure that website is optimized. Five, adding blogs on a consistent basis. And six, doing things like posting to your Google My Business profile to keep the visibility high. I hope this has been helpful. If it has, please click subscribe, like the video. And if you need help increasing your online presence so you can attract more quality fee-for-service patients, go to DocSites.com and we'd be happy to give you a free, no obligation assessment of your practice.